Good morning, my name is Philip Rodriguez and I'm here with Vista Window Manufacturing. I am here with one of my clients, TDR Real Estate Group, at one of their properties. They're an investor group that purchases homes throughout the San Gabriel Valley as well as in the Empire. And we're replacing some windows today at a project. They were going from initially single pane wood windows to now dual pane vinyl windows. I will be walking you through the process so you can see how that steps are done. Okay, we moved inside the house now. What I'm going to be doing to you now is explaining to you the steps that are involved when we're replacing a double hung wood sash window. These are the old style ones that were built back in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. Single pane glass, unenergy efficient, it lets a lot of gradient heat coming inside. I'm going to walk you through the steps on how we install that to help to better educate you as to what processes we do when we do an installation. Typically, the window has its original casing already. All of my work is done with inside what I call the box. So my work is done inside there. The old stool and steps are going to be kept as well. So no demo is done to your existing walls. We don't, we're don't. we not invasive. We're ripping anything open like that. It's basically a retrofit installation. It goes smooth and easy. I'll be bringing my guys over here, one of my team members over here, and they'll be cutting out the sashes and showing you how that works as well. Okay, what we're going to be doing now, I'm with my project manager, Frank. He's already gone around the perimeter of the window and removed the, the interior pine stops. Now what he's going to be doing is taking out the sashes and cutting the cables on those as well. Back in the old days, the windows were manufactured where they'd have a cable system inside there, which would eventually over time wear down and break, causing the windows to no longer operate efficiently. Sashes go outside the window so that we don't further uh, get dust or debris inside the home. Now that the bottom vent is out, we're going to take out the top sash as well. What he's doing now is taking, on the, uh, taking out the exterior, excuse me, the interior stops. The stops are basically when they're sandwiching the window in there to hold it up. So those come out, all the debris is put outside the window, inside the way the trash can. And once that process is complete, then what will happen is you'll take out the top sash, out it goes out the window, the window will next be vacuumed and cleaned and be prepared for the receiving of the new window that's of course has already been manufactured at our factory. Fortunately, sometimes these stops come out very easy and simple and nice big sticks as opposed to coming up in little shards. So every house is a little bit different. you got to remember the sash has been in here for probably over 50 years. First time it's coming out, relatively simple. Cables already break, no problem. Sash goes out the window. That step is now complete. Okay, the next step of installing the window is to put the new dual, dual pane window inside the existing sash. So what we're going to do now is our project manager Frank's going to install the window into the opening. Go ahead. Again, it's been custom manufactured to fit exactly to where it's going to go, behind the existing pine stops. Inside the house, what he'll be doing is now is using three inch self-tapping screws that will go through the frame into the studs of the wall so that it's fastened and secured. They'll also be putting perimeter foam and also casing on the inside for a nice custom finish. And that is the steps to install a single hung dual pane window where a previous single pane, dual pane, single pane uh, old style window was at. Thank you.